Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to make a princessy kind of set of gel nails and this is what I used for this set. Yep, it's a lot of stuff. Um, here's the cuticle oil. It's the peachy one. This is what I use all the time. I love this cuticle oil but I think I'll have to buy some more because I'm always using that one. This is the primer and this is the top coat that I use. It's the premium high gloss sealing gel and the one face rose clear gel. I don't know if my camera is focusing. So and here's the makeup gel. Dusty pink skin or antique rose skin. Um, they have two names, I guess. I don't know. And for the design, I used this gel. This is the pink one. And I actually bought this from AliExpress. I got 36 bottles, I think, or cans um, for about $19, I think. Um, I'll link everything in the description box. And yes. So this is what I used. I love this gel, uh, but yeah, and this is the other color gel that I use, but it's from Ended. It's the pearly kind of gel you'll see in the video. And for rhinestones, I use these ones. These are crystals, um, but these are also from AliExpress, but yeah, they sell crystals as well. These are not plastics, rhinestones, they're really hard. I don't know if it's glass or crystals, it doesn't really matter because they are so pretty and I love them. And here are other rhinestones. I use these smaller ones um, to put beside these bigger ones. Um, but yeah, these are plastic ones. They're also from AliExpress. And this is the glitter that I used. It's a white glitter that has like holographic shimmer to it you can use whatever glitter you want I just chose to use a white one so this is what I used if you'd like to see how I did the nails then just keep watching so the first thing we want to do is always sanitize our hands and our clients hands and then go on to filing so I wanted to make a stiletto kind of almond almond shaped nails so I'm just shaping the tip. As you can see, it's really simple. You can make a square tip as well. I just like this shape a lot. So this is how I'm filing it. Do the same thing on all of the other nails. And then we can go on to preparing the nails. And the first thing you want to do is always push back the cuticles. And then file the nails carefully with a soft file and then buff them because we want the nail to be kind of rough but still in a good condition if you know what I mean and yep we don't want any shininess or anything like that we want to remove all oils and all dead skin that we can find on the nails Before applying any product, I always cleanse the nails and you can never cleanse the nails too much obviously because we want to do the step to really remove all the oils because when we file we accidentally touch the nails or whatever and before applying this primer we want to remove all the oils and stuff so this is the primer that I'm using. It's the um, air drying one and for my base layer I'm using the One Face Rose Clear Gel. I suggest that you all use a base layer of gel before doing any designs because it's just gonna last you a long time. And yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'm applying a thin layer all over the nails. I'm 
adding two layers of this one because we really want to cover everything and make it last as long as possible. If you're not covering everything and you get the design glitters or color gels on the natural nail anywhere, then it's gonna lift. So you want it to really have a nicely sealed base layer of gel. Now on to the design. On my pinky, I'm just gonna make the white glittery nails. So I'm applying another thin layer of this warm face rose clear gel to adhere the white glitter to. I'm putting the white glitter on a plastic bag just to make it easier to use. And then I'm just taking another brush and I'm just patting the glitter on. I'm using the Antique Real Skin Makeup Gel and I'm covering the whole entire nail and I'm gonna be using this gel to actually build up the nail's thickness so I'm gonna apply several layers of this one because we really want the makeup gel to cure completely in the UV lamp and if we put a thick layer of gel right now then this gel won't really cure. you can build up the thickness because the UV lights get right through them and it cures completely. And now going on to the third coat, as I told you I'm gonna be applying a lot of coats because we're building this nail up with this color. actually gonna be the last layer for the pinky because it's clear gel and it's a lot easier to build up the thickness when you're using a clear gel. Now this is gonna be my last layer of this makeup gel because as I told you before I want to make thin layers and even though there are many layers the nails are still not really thick. Now we can finally cleanse the nails and go on to filing them. So I'm using the sanitizing spray to cleanse them and a lint-free wipe. And to file the nails, I'm just gonna move around the tip area, around the nail, nails, around the <laughs> side walls, 
the cuticle area and then kind of blend it all together. file all the nails the same way obviously and then when that's done we're gonna cleanse them all with my sanitizing spray and my lint free wipe and then prime the nails once again because we're gonna go on to applying more gel. I've noticed a lot of people just cleanse the nails and then go on to putting more gel on a shiny nail and that's not how you want to do it if you're gonna cleanse the nail do something and then reapply gel you want to make sure to really file the nail and remove all the shine remove all the oils and then prime them again because otherwise it's just gonna lift and the layers won't even stick together you must know the difference between gel and acrylic there's a huge difference um, but yeah now I'm just applying the top coat on those two nails and Going on to my color gels and before using any color gels you want to stir in the pot because otherwise the pigments won't really be evenly on the application or whatever. <laughs> so I'm starting with the pearly color and you want to make sure to apply this color evenly all through the nail because otherwise you're gonna ruin the shape that you already filed. So be really careful as you can see I'm adding some more to really get this pearly whitish color so I'm really I'm being really careful and it's really easy to get the tip area thicker you know like a little get a little ball at the edge of the tip so make sure to kind of remove that or something because I want the tip to be thinnest and sleekest <laughs> But yeah, this is the pink color. I absolutely love this color. And one thing that I don't like about buying color gels out of AliExpress is that the cans are like half full. So that's really annoying. And as you can see, I'm applying my top coat once again. I'm just going to do one layer this time all over the nails. And the reason for this is because we want to put the top coat on top of something sticky already because if you put this top coat on something dry like the when I already filed the nails and cleansed them they were really dry if I would have put one coat on top of those nails and cleansed them then this gel would have just not sealed everything I don't know how to explain but it's really uh, you just want to seal everything up and if you're putting a top coat on top of something sticky then it's gonna seal perfectly fine so that's why I'm just applying one layer on these colored fingernails <laughs> and then I'm just carrying all this for two minutes so here I'm putting on the rhinestones and I use gel to adhere the rhinestones and I would not recommend you to do this I would recommend you use nail glue or something because the gems can just pop off they did last on me though but I did the same thing on a client and her rhinestones just popped off the next day so 
I would recommend that you use nail glue but because I did this way I'm just gonna show you how I actually did the nail so I'm just gonna be honest with you I kind of glue them in with gel and the reason to why it's not sticking on very well is because the UV light isn't getting through the gems so the gel underneath is actually still sticky um, but yeah and that's not really nice you want to cure everything <laughs> so yeah but I'm just applying the rhinestones wherever I want them and as you can see I'm just applying a little bit more around the gems to seal all the gaps So now that everything is cured, we can cleanse the nails and when they're all cleansed and clean, we can go on to apply the cuticle oil. As I told you before, I'm using the PT1 and I love it. So apply it at the cuticles and then just massage it into the fingers. the final result you guys I hope you liked this video and if you did then make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more of these videos then press the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment down below and like I said in the beginning I will put everything that I used in the description box so make sure to check that out and once again thank you so much for watching bye